Welcome to the program Spiritual Sight. We have been dealing with the three angels' messages, part two. In our previous program, we looked at those families, the family, and how it facilitates the way back into Babylon. But today we want to ask, why do people stick in Babylon? Why do God's people stick in Babylon? Why can they see the danger and come back? Welcome, and uh, today we have a new class. We'll introduce ourselves beginning from the far end. Hello, viewer. My name is Alfred Oruta, a member in this class. Welcome. And I'm Rachel Kemunto, a member, a student of this program. Welcome. Thank you. Dear viewer, I am Sianje Michael, a teacher from Seguro National High School and a student of this program. Welcome and let us continue together. Thank you. I am Samuel Erastus Omutamba, a teacher from Chebuai Adventist College, Webuye. Now, we go straight to our scripture of discussion, the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 1 and verse 2. Brother Sianje will read for us. We read. Yes. We are reading from Ruth chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. It says, In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. And a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. Verse 2. The man's name was Elimelech. His wife's name, Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malon and Kilion. They were Ephraites from Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to Moab and lived there. It says, And they came into the country of Moab and, and continued. continued there. Notice the scripture, he said, And they came into the country of Moab. This is being done against God's counsel in the book of Deuteronomy 23, verse 3 to 7. Just read it, Deuteronomy 23, verse 3 to 7. Sorry. 23, uh -huh. 3 to 7 says, Yes. An Ammonite or Moabite shall yes. not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Yes. Even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. Because they met you not with bread and with water in the way. Mm -hmm. When you came forth out of Egypt and because they hired against thee Balaam the son of Baal of Pethor of Mesopotamia to curse thee. Thank you. They have come into the country of Moab. You notice, okay? Yeah. yeah. But can you ask yourself, they came as sojourners, that is to live for a what? A while. A while. Mm. And when you come immediately into a strange country, you must notice something that is strange. Yes. Something that is not normal. So the Bible says, and they came into the country of where? Moab. Moab. If you go to Mombasa, you just reach around Mariakani and you begin feeling the what? The heat of Mombasa. You, you've come from up country, but around Maria Khan, you just find, ah, this is a strange what? Land. It's a strange land. But these ones just came. Nothing disturbed them. 
They never smelt a rat. If you came to a strange smelling room, <laughs> you will smell a rat. Yeah. Mm. But these ones here from Israel, they came into the land, the forbidden land, but nothing touched them. What do you think is this that held them? What makes them not uh, to realize or to know the change? Yes. I believe, uh, first of all, it is because they did not realize what God had said about Moab. Somewhere, somewhere, someone, someone might have not done it right by teaching others. Because I believe were it that maybe they were taught that that land God said we should not mix or mingle with them, then they will have not gone into that land. And upon reaching the land, they will have realized, if at all they had to go now, they will have realized that indeed there is a problem here. The senses, the sensitivity, yes. yes. Okay, these people, the, the family of Elimelech, they had been blinded by, by the hunger that they had. They, you remember they, they left their land to go to more because of famine. Famine? Yeah. There was no food. Mm -hmm. So they had to go and look for food. Yes. So they, they assumed everything because they, that thing that they wanted to find is what they went to do in Moab. Moab. So they could, not, they, could not, they could not have that sense of feeling anything or smelling anything or thinking that something bad is going on here. Their mind was focused on that thing. The that, food? Yeah. That they went to look for. Food alone and it kept them into forbidden what? Grounds. Grounds. Yes. Mm. Always, uh, you know, stomach <laughs> for a human being <laughs> is one of the greatest <laughs> things. Yes. Whenever his stomach is full, yes, he tends to forget so many things. Mm. Most of the people, whenever they are, f they are full, they are satisfied. It's, it, it's, it's not easy to realize their problems or other things pertaining to when pertaining to their life more so when they are full okay so f food hooked them okay so you agree that some well-meaning brothers and sisters stick in babylon just because of food yeah. it's true food it's true. food food is very important there was a famine in their what? Their in land. their land. Yeah. And uh, they are so hungry that they say, no, I would rather uh, persevere all these other things that are not palatable, but I get what? Food. Food. Malima, it brings me to uh, issue. You remember issue in the past episode? Okay, Esau. Yes, Esau. <laughs> eh? Yes. Uh, uh, he said he's uh, Esau. <laughs> oh, uh, my local pronunciation. Your, lo your local Esau. pronunciation, Esau. Eh? Yes. <laughs> he lost the birthright <laughs> because of what? The stomach. The stomach. Yes. So the stomach has a problem and it keeps <laughs> people in Babylon just searching, searching, searching for what they can put in the stomach and uh, uh, the stomach is not, it's not, it's not there forever. The, the stomach is not it's there just, forever? Yeah, it's just a perishable thing. Now, notice that the colleagues, the whole land of Israel did not move to Moab. Yeah. What were they eating in their land? <laughs> eh? Okay. But you notice they are for food hooked them. Yes food hook to them. Now, you read Jeremiah chapter 48. We can read a few verses. A few verses so that we see what are some of these hooking, hooking things that might have kept this family in Babylon, in the forbidden land. Verse? Uh, begin from uh, verse 11. It says, Yes. Mob has been at is from his youth uh -huh. and he has settled on his lees uh -huh. and has not been emptied from vessels to vessels uh -huh. neither has he gone into captivity yes therefore his test remained in him mm -hmm. and his scent is not changed mm -hmm. therefore behold 
the days come mm -hmm. says the lord that i will send unto him wanderers mm -hmm. that shall cause him to wander mm -hmm. and shall empty his vessels and break their bottles mm -hmm. 13 and mob shall be ashamed of shemosh mm -hmm. as the house of israel was ashamed of bethel their confidence mm -hmm. how say ye we are mighty and strong men for the war mm -hmm. Moab is spoiled and gone up out of her cities, and his chosen young men are gone down to the slaughter, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Okay. 16. The calamity of Moab is near to come, mm -hmm. and his affliction has stayed fast. Mm -hmm. All ye that are about him, bemoan him, and all ye that know his name, say, How the strong staff broken and the beautiful rod. Thank you. Mm. Just those few verses will give you a glimpse of what might have kept this family in the forbidden land. land. Mm. Number one, there are several cities being mentioned in that chapter. Mm -hmm. You've seen the cities? Mm. Yeah. Now, eh, it tells me that city life kept them there. Mm. Do you know that city life can be very attractive? Very attractive indeed. City life can make men forget their obligations to God. Yeah. Sure. They were kept yeah. by the cities of where? Mob. Mob. Number three, you realize also it had wealth and treasure. Mm. Apart from the food we talked about, Moab is a place of wealth and mm. treasure. They have enough <laughs> wealth. Mm. They have enough money. Mm. Do you think money kept them? Yes. Have you noticed that some good, well-meaning families run away from a country which they worship God very well just because of wealth into a godless nation? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, happening. it's happening. Like it's like, like our young youths are running to Dubai. Dubai. Dubai probably has a lot of money. Okay. So I go to Dubai, work in Dubai, I get some, they call it dirhams. Mm. Yeah. So I have money in Dubai. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of money. Mm. It is not a. It is not a. Can I call it not a, a city where they worship God? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are no many. There are not many churches there. Mm -hmm. So our Christian young men are running to Dubai, mm -hmm. looking for money. Okay. Mm, not mm. only the countries, mm. but the chosen people of God. They are leaving the church to go in the world mm. because the world has good well, jobs. Yeah that provide enough food, money mm. for them. So they, 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 they say they will become richer and then come uh, and working, and working, working all the days, 24-7. That's See what they scenario, say. You find mm. companies, you cannot get employed here in Nairobi as in if you cannot work 24-7. Some people compromise not going to worship because they have to work on a Saturday. Yeah. Because when you go, there is a time I went for recruitment and I was told, I told them I'm a seventh day, and they told me, it's, I usually worship on Saturday, and they told me, they asked me, the, either you choose two things, either church or a job. And yeah. compromise, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. people, it's easier compromise to compromise. So Moab was a place of wealth and what? Treasure. Treasure. Then notice the idol worship. Mm. The idol worship, there is a god, a god there named Chemo. Chemosh. 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 Mm. Now, fascinating worship, which is not having a harp. Mm. Very fascinating. You remember in our talk yeah. about Babylon? Yeah. This other area looks so simple, a harp, just a mere harp mm. and boring music. Mm. What do you do? Go where there is real fascinating what? Mm. Worship. Worship. Mm. And uh, this family felt, ah, no, we can stay here. We can continue staying here. Mm. Because the, 
the type of worship, of course, we are worshiping the same God. A harp is inside all this. Mm. There's a harp. God looks at what is important here. A harp is there. And they remained in the land of Moab. Moab. But you notice in verse 11, Moab has been at ease from his what? Youth. Youth. That means there is a life of what? Ease. Mm -hmm. Now, Christianity is a life of abstemiousness mm -hmm. and sacrifice. And sacrifice. Yeah. You, 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 you live on little flour, little, little oil. oil. Mm. Yeah. And the faith continues. And then very many things that keep life, uh, touchy things that keep life are not there. Is a soldier's life. Yeah. That's the kind of life that is being given here. Mm. But Moab had a life of what? Ease. Mm. Actually, they were satisfied. They had everything. Like here, they are saying they had not even gone to captivity. Nothing had happened to them. So Moab... They were still in their comfort zones. Moab. So, uh, 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 is it wrong for me to go and live comfortably? Uh, that's not a Christian calling. And in a, uh, uh, for a Christian, uh, or in, in Christianity, we say there is no glory without cross. And cross here, uh, it's sacrifice. So, uh, uh, when you go and live at rest, what have you sacrificed? Now, when uh, uh, because they say when you, we 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 know from uh, from the scripture when Jesus comes, we will be victors. So if you are living at rest when He comes, you will be a victor of what? <laughs> a victor over what? A victor over poverty? No, <laughs> then that's not Christianity. <laughs> that's not Christianity. So uh, uh, here it is not good for us to go and live because you have been called to be, to give what? service and service you, you don't give it when you are at rest okay yes so you you, you discover that uh, babylon moab the forbidden land has very many attractive pleasures that hoop, hook hook what a christian family mm -hmm. yeah. because you, you wonder that the bible says they went and continued there Mm. This means that although they saw the evil atmosphere, mm -hmm. they coped up. Mm. The plenty food was better. Mm -hmm. The life of ease. So you discover that the more we behold evil, the more it ceases to be evil. It normalizes. Yeah. Get used to it. It's be it, be it becomes something normal. Now. It became it's what? It's, it's no longer normal. sin. It no longer became what? A sin. And so, El Melech, Naomi, and their two sons, Kilion and who? Mahalon, continued there. And do you remember, Mahalon, Mahalon means sickly. Kilion means Pining. Mm. A pining fellow is a fellow who, who who mourns and grumbles and wastes away. Mm. And here is the land of Moab, full of plenty. That means the hospitals are nice. <laughs> Everything is good. The sickly Mahalon will be will get what? Treatment. Treatment. Mm. Yes. The, the El Melek who has gone to seek the prosperity of that area will increase his property. Mm. And notice the Naomi who knows how to dress. Pleasant. Pleasant Naomi who yeah. knows how to wash herself. Mm. How, 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 how to go down. Will, will, will show really sweet love to her husband who? El Melek. Yeah. It hooks. Now, 
This, I feel that El Melek and his family convinced himself to be positive. Positive thinking amidst evil. evil. Yeah. He admired the skill of Moabites in war. The celebrations during wine pressing. And you know what? The Moabite women were beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ruth was beautiful. In the history of the children of Israel, it is Moabite women. You, you, you read in Numbers. Mm. It is the Moabite women who attracted the Jewish men. Mm. They were beautiful. Yeah, it's true. They were nice to look at. Mm. And is it possible that some young man or some young woman is kept by the handsome and the beautiful, handsome and beautiful women of Babylon? Yes. It's, it's true. true because, you see, they say a man, the way he was created, as in he gets attracted by seeing mm -hmm. even uh, uh, in the Bible it tells us even uh, you see, even when uh, we f when 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 a man f f fall, eh? felt, felt uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he did by doing what, looking at the 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 the, 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 the fruit that he was told not to to eat, eat. but he, by looking at it, he did what he, he felt. felt he felt the same thing as men. So some they are kept felt by okay. So some are kept into Babylon by the beautiful women of Babylon? Yes. Yeah. Some are kept by the wine, mm. drunkenness. Uh -huh. You discover that wine brewers, because they say there was a lot of wine brewing in the land of where? Moab. Moab. Has been at ease. Neither has he been emptied from vessel to what? To, to vessel. vessel. So the art of making what? Wine. wine. Making wine. Mm. Making wine. Mm. Making wine. And you know that alcoholic companies have good money? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the wealthiest. Sometimes Don't you just you find even yeah. Christians get yeah. attempted to, 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 to get, I mean, to invest in business of alcohol. selling alcohol. Yes. A, you can find a Christian comes to church, but his business is a bar or a wine and spirit. Something deals with brew. Yes. So, you see, even Satan brings things that attracts 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 most to those people who are not strong. So you can see why this family went just to sojourn and instead of sojourning they were held there yeah. mm. and they he, continued they continued there yes something i want to say before we go on yes yeah when elimelech went to that land you've said we've we've seen how that land was rich with a lot of food wine and all that stuff yes. and then there's this thing we have appetite we have desires and passions. Mm. They allowed their passions, their appetites, and their desires to control them. Mm -hmm. You know, when God created man, he created him a perfect being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were not supposed to be controlled by our appetites, our desires, and our passions. Mm -hmm. So that is what is controlling the world and the society today. Mm -hmm. mm? We are being controlled by our desires. Mm -hmm. If I want something, I would get it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think twice. I wouldn't listen to mm -hmm. the soft voice that tells me that is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because we have seared our minds, we have refused to listen to the still voice that tells us this is wrong, don't do it. Mm -hmm. So the desires that they had for that food, the appetite they had, mm -hmm. and then the passion they had for these women kept them in Moab. In Moab. Yeah. And uh, one picked Ruth. And another one picked who? Orpa. Orpa. Mm. So there are Orpas keeping some good Christians outside there. Very true. Very keeping true. them there. <laughs> and you notice the Bible now says, And El Melech, Naomi's husband, did what? Died. died. Mm. Now, I may ask a question. Not that the house band died. Mm. 
He had spiritually died long ago. He now died physically. Yeah. When did he physically, when did he spiritually die? He spiritually died the moment he decided to leave the land of... The Egypt. land. Yes. Yeah. And come to Moab. The land of promise. The land of promise. Yes. Mm. When he went this other side, God never went with him. Yeah. In the days, in the book of Jeremiah, God went with the Jews in the land of Babylon. Yeah. He even advised them on how to do what? To, to live, live there. there. He yeah. is the one who caused, who caused them to go, there. to go there. But this one, uh, he, the, what, what drives him is the appetite uh, uh, she has talked of. Huh? His own mind. His own mind, his own pleasure, his own name. I, I, the I. Yeah? The I thing. The I syndrome. Yes, the one that is driving him to I. go to Moab and continue there the i and my yes ah, yeah. i my mm. so so you you notice he he died long time ago mm. yeah he was a, he was walking walking, walking he was there. a walking coffin yes <laughs> <laughs> then yes. cops when he defied god's counsel not to seek the prosperity of moab death struck him he saw the idolatry but overlooked it left no will about his bones and there was untimely death yes. mm -hmm. you see in the history of israel you you find jacob before he dies he talks to his sons yes yeah. he leaves them a will he leaves them a will yeah. jacob even uh, joseph, joseph what does he say mm. carry my what my bones mm. Mm. he knows that egypt is not his own land mm. oh Carry my what? My, my bones. bones. These are men who believed in God. Mm -hmm. yeah. But here is a man. He dies in the land of Moab. No will about his bones. Mm. Nothing about. Mm. So you will not hear anything about him at all. Yeah. A terrible tragedy of how Moab, by extent Babylon, hooks and holes men yeah they die abruptly yeah. now what do you think caused his death <laughs> what do you think caused the death of el melek uh, did he die of sickness he died of sickness? Yeah, those are the questions you <laughs> asked me. <myself. laughs> okay, one thing here, when he decided to come to this city of Moab, uh -huh. already he started dying slowly, uh -huh. spiritually. Yes. Then when, nev when he entered the city, yes. he did, he maybe he, he broke so many rules. Uh, yes. The laws of God. Uh -huh. He broke so many of them. Yes. The deity. He broke the deity. Uh -huh. the he started eating the diet. things. <laughs> yeah, okay. As in the the laws of uh, health. <laughs> the laws of health. He broke them. The new start. Yes. The new start that was not there. See, we we find that nowadays uh -huh. most of the diseases people have. Yes. It's because of what they eat. Yes. And from the deity itself, that is where we get these diseases from. That life of ease. Yes. Are you seeing the life now of in ease? in the city, mm. when you come here in the city, yes. you just find there is alcohol, uh -huh. there is this uh, flesh where we, that, that is, 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 is prepared, people not knowing where it comes from. Yes. There are junky foods, which nowadays even the world itself tells us through the news that it, I mean, it, it has killed so many people. Yes. Because if you nowadays you look when people get these diseases of diabetes, cancer, uh, cancer, heart and heart disease, so many other diseases, stroke, they, they come through their lifestyle. A life of ease. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, to add on something, uh. the, com the law of temperament. Temperance. Temperance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The law of temperance. temperance. This man missed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you cannot tell me uh, uh, being a, in Moab by extension of Babylon, <laughs> yes. you will have that. You'll, that that, that, life of is that will not that will not be a thing. Plenty food. There is plenty food. There is life at rest. Yes. 
that uh, I have no problem. Eh? So he eats. And, uh, uh, and mark this. Uh. Note that uh, uh, in the book, in the Genesis, uh. Uh, when God is giving the commandments, he uh. tells uh, uh, Adam, yeah. the day you will break, yeah. you will surely die. 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 Mm -hmm. So that must be fulfilled. He has broken God's commandment. And uh, for example, when God said, you should not go to Moab. And you go. Here he is carrying the whole family to Moab. What does he expect? He yeah. must meet God by his, by his law, by his word, and death comes. So, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty six to 30. What is this that uh, might have killed El Melech? 26 to 30 says, Yes. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, Yes. You do shew the Lord's death till he come. Uh -huh. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Yes. But let a man examine himself. Yes. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Yes. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, uh -huh. not designing the Lord's body uh -huh. for this cause many are weak and sickly uh -huh. among you and many sleep many sleep means what die, die. many do what die. Die. die now notice there was the word unworthily yeah. eating what uh, unworthily mm -hmm. what does it mean when it says eating unworthily and Un unworthily uh, gluttonously? Eating <laughs> 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 unworthily. Yes. I mean, you miss the normal diet. You eat gl gluttonously. All those are inclusive. <laughs> because yeah. it's not unworthy. No, you see, the word worthy yeah. in the Bible has a very specific meaning. You see, you see in this context, yeah. Unworthily, you have not sanctified. Designed, it. you've not designed, designed. Mm. the body of, of the Lord. Yeah. Are you seeing that? Mm. Now, uh, just come to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 5. Have you found there? The word worthy is used there. Mm. We, w we shall pick from there. 35 verse. 9. Five verse nine. Nine. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Can you read it? It uh, says, uh -huh. yeah. and they sang a new song, yeah. saying, "Thou art worthy to uh -huh. take the book uh -huh. and to open the seals thereof." Yes. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred. So this and term, tongue and people and nation. This term is used. Worthy is used. In specific terms, mm. Mm -hmm. in relation to who? Christ. Verse 12 of, of chapter 50 or 5 eh. of Revelation says, eh. In a loud voice they sang, Worthy is, is the, the Lamb. Lamb. That, that was done what? Was slain. slain. That is therefore, if this fellow he went here, he ate unworthily. He ate Christlessly. Yes. He left. Christ out of his what program he left him out and when you leave Christ out of any program what is the result death, death should yes. be the result mm. yeah. no wonder he has a sickly Marlon mm -hmm. why is Marlon sickly Eating and what? Eating what? And what? Mm -hmm. That is, he is eating without having who? Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. Why is a Killian pining? He is weak. He is weak? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that weakness is a result of eating and what? Mm. Minus Christ. Christ is the bread of what? Of, of life. life. Mm -hmm. He is the bread of heaven. Maybe we, we, we read uh, John chapter 6. Verse 53 to 63, what does it say? It times 50. 53. 53. 
Then Jesus said unto them, Yes. Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man mm -hmm. and drink his blood, mm -hmm. you have no life in you. You have no life in you. So when you have no life in you, what are you? You are dead. Uh, you are dead. Uh, uh, and then it says, it uh, continues, uh, Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood uh, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink <laughs> indeed. So this fellow went there because there was food. Yeah. Mm. He wanted the food. And forgot his living the bread of heaven yeah. in bread the land of, of where? Israel. Israel. Mm. He forgot that. Yeah. And the truth is, he died. So I see that the guilt of having defied God's counsel killed him. Yeah. Number two, a life of ease in the land of where? Moab. Moab. Might have allowed diseases like cancer, mm -hmm. heart disease, stroke, diabetes, which are killer diseases to men today. Mm. Number three, the hustlers of providing for a family in a strange land, treating them spending on them. This is sickly Marlon and pining son Kilion might have worked against this man. And what did he do? He died. Notice loss of wealth. They went out full. That is what they are saying. Mm. We, I went out full. Mm. I've up. come back what? Empty. Empty. So he went to multiply the fullness in Moab. But got what? Losses. losses. Mm. He got losses. And uh, lastly, he was overwhelmed by the duties of burning a house in a strange land. land. If Naomi is saying I am bitter, Call me Mara. Do you know how hard is it to live with a bitter woman? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> bitter. Yeah. A bitter woman will stress you to death. Mm -hmm. So why are God's men who have been good church members, you hear he went and died, he went and died, he went and died, he went out, he died. This is the reason. Family stress. Family what? Stress. stress. And the family stress is really in the Babylon. Yeah. Only where Christ says and Christ commands, which is a promise, let not your hearts be done what? Be troubled. Troubled. Trouble. Believe in me and in oh. God also. Yes. For in my Father's house there, there are many, many what mansions. mansions better than the ones in moab yeah. better than the ones in moab yeah. so el melek hooked continued he dies yeah and after that the sons follow they do what they die, they die. Mm. And after the sons die, now they die after marrying. Mm -hmm. Ten years. Ten years. Yes. Ten years after marrying. So, do you wonder that there is barrenness yeah, in the church is. today? Yeah, yeah there, there is. is. Spiritual barrenness, mm. fruitlessness, nothing at all, deadlock, no moving ahead, no, no moving, moving forward, forward, no moving back, just a deadlock. And you go to a church and you discover that this church is just in a deadlock. It is stagnated. It's stagnated. Yeah. It's not moving ahead, it's not moving where? Backward. Forward. That's a sign of people in Babylon. People in Babylon. Mm -hmm. It's a true sign of people in Babylon. People have just come there for merit. Yeah. Merit in the church. But they have forgotten that they should go back to Jesus Christ, yeah. who is a true promise and a true hope yeah. of our eternal life and not death. So you have, oh, the people have clung on, 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 on things that, that can please the eyes, things that can please the ears, things that can please the physical feelings. Yeah. And at the end of it all, they lose 
they lose being in Jesus Christ, and that's what has been brought into the church. And now we are we are we are at at we have been brought at barrenness. <laughs> stand still yes mm -hmm. go to a church mm. and it's just there mm. in fact you don't feel like going there because yeah. there is no moving ahead no mm. moving mm. forward mm. the only thing is can we build some houses that look like moab mm. can our church look like the one for moab can we contribute but no spiritual growth death stagnation yeah there's this norm that this thing we normally say, we are working for the Lord. We are not. We are not. You see, uh, currently, uh, somebody said, as in, our ministers, uh, some of some of them, have become like the mothers. You know, when a mother knows how to 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 to, to hold their a child until he, he gets asleep. Mm -hmm. Some of the ministers, that is how they do to our churches. They just give us the message that is just to, to holding so you just so there, so sweet words that we, you just want to hear with our ears, not telling us the truth and what the sin is. We can just allow people just enter into church with their sins the way they are without caring because they just say, just come the way you are. I mean, they, with they are not a told. sickly Marlon, yes. And a pining Kilion. And a bitter Naomi. And a bitter Naomi. Naomi. Mm -hmm. And some sisters in many churches are bitter. Yeah. Some young men and women are really pining. Mm. And some are very spiritual, what? Sick. Sick. With an Elmelech whose name means the Lord is king, but there is no kingship in him. Yeah. And so, but what hooked them there? A life of what? Rest. Is. is. That life of is. Mm. Christianity is a soldier's life. It's a yeah. battle fought every day. And those who remained in Israel are found is very strong. Amen. Boaz is very strong. Mm -hmm. Even the name Boaz itself, it says in him there is strength. Where did he get all this strength that El Melech did not see? Malim, you know, when you say Christianity is a battle, yeah. it, it, it has reminded me of Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, verse, verse 12 yeah. where it, that says, from the days of John the Baptist until now, yes. the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing mm -hmm. and forceful men mm -hmm. lay hold of it forceful men. what men. men not sickling not, not sickling. pining not pining men forceful yeah not pleasant now means who know how to dress mm -hmm. how to wash mm -hmm. how to attract a husband no they should be a soldier yeah timothy is told fight mm. the good fight of, of what? Faith. Of faith. faith. Mm. Paul says, I have finished what? The race. But I have fought a, a good fight, fight of, faith. of what? Of faith. faith. It is a battle. Yes. Yeah, it is very unfortunate. It's not a party. Mm. Mm. It's, not a, it's not a social Sunday, not social Sabbath. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. It is a war, it's a battle. Yeah. A soldier. Mm. That is Christianity. Mm. War so, faith. Yeah. So mm -hmm. not is therefore. Babylon is hooking Christians because of a life of ease. Mm -hmm. And that easiness has a canker in it. Mm -hmm. The canker will destroy El, Mel El Melech, yeah. will destroy Naomi, will de Kilion, Kilion, Kilion uh -huh. Malon, Malon, mm -hmm. and leave Naomi what? Hopeless. Bitter, mm. husbandless, sonless yes. in the land of Moab. Mm -hmm. God help us that we may be soldiers of Christ and Christ is seen as a man of war. Amen. When he stands he has a sword out of his mouth, a two-edged sharp sword. Mm. A sword does not imply that there is a weakness there, no. no. It is a war, yeah. a real battle. And if men are not prepared for a battle, let them prepare to die the way El Melech uh, died. Malim, you know, a strong yeah. man yeah. does not fear hunger. Yeah. A strong man will never, you will never see a strong man crying that he's angry. 
in fact he will not cry mm. and that day that's when you know that he is full yes though he, that he has nothing in the, in the in the stomach so this man was was a coward <laughs> and in heaven cowards are not going thank strong you strong men are only going where <laughs> to heaven so we must be strong as christians strong men mm -hmm. the elmelech syndrome of babylon should come out may yeah. god bless us amen. amen rachel pray for us let us pray mm. Our mighty and everlasting Father, we want to thank you for the program that we've just had. Jehovah, we have realized that we have not clung to you honestly with all our hearts, our souls and minds, Jehovah. Lord, we want to pray that you may give us the strength to forge ahead like a soldier who fights in a battle, Jehovah. May you give us the spirit of a soldier that we may fight this spiritual battle wholeheartedly Jehovah because the weapons that you have given us are not carnal but they are spiritual Jehovah mm -hmm. father we want to pray that you may bless the listener and may you give her the courage and the strength to forge ahead father may we not put the cares of this world ahead of us Jehovah but may we lay everything at your feet Jehovah father may your name be glorified now and forevermore may this program bless each and every listener in Jesus name we pray amen, amen.